Now my goal is to put these questions in front of as many people as possible and expose the lies, errors, and frauds of evolution. We're going to continue to move forward again and again till we have a million question evolution tracks that have been distributed. And once we get to a million, what we're going to do is we're going to go to two million. And we're going to get two million tracks distributed to the public. Hey folks, this is Shock, and I want to give you a little update on our PowerPoint presentation we did on Creation.com's 15 questions for evolutionists. At the end of the 15 questions, I challenged any of the evolutionists to get on the microphone and go through these questions with me, and it appears that the evolutionists were dazed and dumbfounded. They could not answer the following questions. Let's go through them, shall we? Number one, how did life originate? Paul Davies, evolutionist professor, admitted nobody knows how a mixture of lifeless chemicals spontaneously organize themselves into the first living cell. Question two, how did the DNA code originate? What other coding system has existed without intelligent design? And by the way, if you'd like to see these 15 questions that had the evolutionists stumped, dazed, and confused, just click below this video and you can see it. Question three, how could mutations, accidental copying mistake, create huge volumes of information in the DNA of living things? Because, you know, mutations are really just accidental copying mistakes. I asked this question of the evolutionist, and they remain dazed and dumbfounded and silent. Question four. Why is natural selection a principle recognized by creationists taught as evolution, as if it explains the origin of diversity of life? Question five. How did new biochemical pathways, which involve multiple enzymes working together in sequence, originate? Question six. Living things look like they were designed, so how do evolutionists know that they were not designed? Richard Dawkins actually wrote, quote, Biology is the study of complicated things that have the appearance of having been designed with a purpose. Question 7. How did multicellular life originate? How did cells adapted to individual survival learn to cooperate and specialize to create complex plants and animals? Question 8. How did sex originate? Asexual reproduction gives up to twice as much reproductive success for the same resources as sexual reproduction. So how could the latter ever gain enough advantage to be selected? Question 9. And this question here really confused, dazed, and confounded the evolutionists. I even challenged them to get on the microphone and talk to me about these 15 questions. Surprisingly, even though the room was packed full of evolutionists, they were dazed and confounded and silent on the issue, especially question 9. Why are the expected countless millions of transitional fossils missing? Stephen Jay Gould wrote, the extreme rarity of transitional forms in the fossil record persists as the trade secret of paleontology. And other evolutionist fossil experts also acknowledge the problem. And it is a problem for evolutionists, and this problem is not going away. Question 10. How do living fossils remain unchanged over supposed hundreds of millions of years? Question 11. How did blind chemistry create mind intelligence 
meaning altruism and morality question 12 why is evolutionary just so storytelling tolerated question 13 where are the scientific breakthroughs due to evolution Dr. Mark Kirshner, chair of the Department of Systems Biology, Harvard Medical School, stated, in fact, over the last 100 years, almost all of biology has proceeded independent of evolution, except evolutionary biology itself. Question 14. Science involves experimenting to figure out how things work, how they operate, why is evolution, a theory about history, taught as if it is the same as this operational science? You cannot do experiments or even observe what happened in the past. Asked if evolution has been observed, Richard Dawkins actually said, listen to this, quote, evolution has been observed, it's just that it hasn't been observed while it's happening. And question 15. Why is a fundamentally religious idea, a dogmatic belief system that fails to explain the evidence taught in science classes? Karl Popper, famous philosopher of science, said, quote, Darwinism is not a testable scientific theory, but a metaphysical religious research program, unquote. And Michael Roos, evolutionist science philosopher, admitted, quote, evolution is a religion. This was true of evolution in the beginning, and it is true of evolution today, unquote. If you can't teach religion in science classes, then why is evolution taught? Now, my goal is to put these questions in front of as many people as possible and expose the lies, errors, and frauds of evolution. We're going to continue to move forward again and again till we have a million question evolution tracks that have been distributed. And once we get to a million, what we're going to do is we're going to go to two million, and we're going to get two million tracks distributed to the public. Check this out. Click right below this video and go to Creation Ministries International and see if you can answer these 15 questions. So far, we haven't had any evolutionists that have been able to answer these questions. And don't forget, right here on the right, click right here where it says 15 questions for evolutionists tracked. God bless you, and have a great week.